Hello and welcome back to Railroads Online. So today we are here bringing out the new update, September update for Railroads Online, or at least the first of what could be a couple of updates or something. Who knows exactly how that's coming down the pipeline. But we have gotten the decorations and uh, I guess I don't know what we call it. Mainly is decorations and building update, I guess, is what we'll go with. You know, whatever you want to call it. But we'll just kind of take a stroll through town here. As you can see, we did get a new buildings, a new variety of buildings. We have placeable objects that we can now put, you know, in places. Docks, stuff like that. From wagon wheels to barrels to hay chairs. We got buckets. We got lanterns. Lanterns do not light up at night. One disappointment there is that we can't, you know, we don't have lights portable lighting which would have been cool horse tie-offs and troughs we have the if you see the new telegraph poles and wires running a variety of segments and angles whatever so they auto attach to the wires kind of a cool thing to play around with there we got new fences which you know obviously we can go over as you see you know, we have doctors, offices, we have saloons, we have residential buildings. Some are distinguishable, some are not. Um, buildings are not enterable, that's one thing you'll notice. There is no getting in them. In fact, some of them, if you drop them on top of yourself, they'll slam you under the map. So that is one thing to watch. Or if you're looking for entry under the map, one way to get there in a hurry. That's one thing we found already. So just kind of taking a look through a few more of the buildings. We have the legal law office. Again, put a wagon wheel there. It's just playing around with things you can do. Um, little outbuildings we got. There's the poles stretched out. No new locomotives that I saw. Uh, we will take a rundown. Here is um, a stable. Again, no entry into the doors, sadly. Nothing's opening or closing, but this is going to give us an opportunity to at least build some structure, build some towns, you know, start filling in some of the world, make it look cool. Again, wagon wheel. Got a little carried away with throwing wagon wheels around because who doesn't like a few wagon wheels in the Old West? Um, <clears throat> so one of the new facilities that we did get is a new firewood stand now this is supposed to auto fill is my understanding when you pull down 10 logs or something so let's go ahead and grab some of those we'll just wing some wood around oops get my hand here here we go and they're supposed to auto fill so we'll just see how that goes while well, we're looking at some things. Yeah, there it goes. Pop, pop. Started auto filling already. So there we go. Fills back up. So those are now a thing in the game. Again, that's here under facilities. A wood rick is what it's called. Go figure that. Oop, boop, boop, boop. Roman. All right. So there's that. Then we're going to go in take a look at the signs this is another big you know everybody's been looking for signs in the game easy to rotate using the number buttons it's kind of like you know circle mode whatever the heck but you will notice there you go signs do whatever you want to there are several signs there are some that say text here it is blank have not exactly figured out how to put text on them because i yeah don't know how to do text on the signs just yet but i would assume that there w is a way or will be a way i don't know one thing i haven't figured out yet but i haven't been looking at the signs for very long either so there you go we have railroad crossing signs we'll throw one of those out just for fun okay, what the heck all right, so let's look at a side 
post or something. There we go. Whatever. A lot of options in here. Obviously, you can see they added a, just a ton of signs. So, that's kind of cool. You know, there you go. Lots of signs to be had. And what else do we got in here? All right. So, definitely lots of signs. Back to the decorations, as you can see, just a list. You know, I mean, we got everything down to shovels. Uh, that lays pretty flat, so that's kind of going to be a little wonky, but you should be able to put it places. I don't know if you can put things on locomotives. No, not really. What happens if we put it there? Stick a shovel out of the out of Betsy and then see if we can move at all. Yeah, and the shovel just stays floating, so there we go. <laughs> That's how that works. Alright. Uh, you can delete them with the delete tool. That's a thing. Most of this, you know, still first looking. Here's the buildings. The list of buildings is pretty extensive. I mean, I gotta give them credit as far as I'm concerned. Like, you know, yeah, they added, they added stuff which we were like, you know, okay, whatever. But they added... I mean, we got a lot of stuff, so it's not just a little one, two, whatever. We actually got some stuff, so that's kind of cool. You know, a lot of different options, how you want to play around with it. Again, with the building, same thing. Signs, you know, there you go. Uh, what else we got in here? Let's take a look. That all looks the same. Locomotives. I don't know. Somebody tried saying they were going to get rid of our tier one car. Tier one cars are right there. So those didn't go away. Again, we did look. No new locomotives. So that's a thing. Um, hopefully, we'll get some locomotives. It's been a while since we've had some of those. But this is definitely an upgrade and should give us plenty to do and a whole new way of looking at um, our layouts and what we can do with them so i'm pretty happy with the buildings a little bit of a town going on for a change gives us plenty to do and new ways to look at the game so i think we're going to call that you know a win today for sure nice little update i'm pretty happy with that see yeah this is like a we can actually do stuff so that's kind of neat and uh i'm pretty hip with it gives us plenty to go back to do so there you go we're going to call that one a win and our first look at the new update and plenty more to come, I'm sure, as we get to going with things. So, say thanks for tuning in. Remember, if you get a chance, like, share, subscribe. Subscriptions are free, but sure do help the channel. Y'all have a great day.